Pressure half time of aortic regurgitation jet is measured from the apical 5 chamber view using continuous wave Doppler echocardiography. PHD decreases as the severity of aortic regurgitation increases. Picture demonstrates measurement of pressure half time of aortic regurgitation jet using continuous wave Doppler from the apical 5 chamber view. Apical 5 chamber view with color Doppler is seen in the upper left corner of the image. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The Doppler cursor is seen passing through the left ventricular outflow tract and iota. Iotic regurgitation jet is seen as the positive tracing above the baseline. The peak velocity or Vmax of the aortic regurgitation jet is shown as 479 cm per second. AR PHT is shown as 453 milliseconds. The AR deceleration is shown as 310 cm per second squared. PHT is the time required for peak pressure gradient to reduce by half which will correspond to a decrease in peak velocity by a factor of square root of 2. PHT of a regurgitant jet depends on the severity of the regurgitation and the compliance of the receiving chamber. If the compliance of the receiving chamber is low, the pressure in the receiving chamber rises rapidly and the pressure gradient decreases rapidly leading to a steep slope of the Doppler tracing and a low pressure half time. This is the usual situation in acute aortic regurgitation when the receiving chamber or left ventricle does not get much time to dilate and accommodate the regurgitant flow. Severe regurgitation also gives rise to a similar picture as the receiving chamber fills rapidly. PHT measurement by Doppler echocardiography is useful in assessing the severity of aortic regurgitation. The severity of aortic regurgitation has been classified according to the pressure half time as follows. Mild aortic regurgitation PHT above 500 milliseconds. Moderate aortic regurgitation, PHD between 200 to 500 milliseconds. Severe aortic regurgitation, PHD less than 200 milliseconds. As mentioned above, pressure half time depends on the compliance of the receiving chamber and hence it can be reduced by elevated left ventricular diastolic pressure. On the contrary, it can be prolonged if the peripheral resistance is increased and when the iota is dilated and having a higher compliance. Vasodilated therapy can reduce the pressure half time in aortic regurgitation. Here are the important journal references on this topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.